What's up, YouTube, and what you know, my name is Domino with the Zero, and welcome to episode 3 of our Pokemon Ultra Moon Expanded Let's Play. In the last episode, which was just a couple hours ago, um, first off, we started off by meeting um, some new people um, that we know as the Ultra Recon Squad. You're definitely going to want to check out that episode because it was very, very interesting. The story seems to be starting off right from the beginning. Now, in today's episode, uh, we still haven't done any of the other stuff. I haven't gone to catch Pokemon or anything. I'll explain all of that once we get into the episode. Um, but we're pretty much going to talk to Lily and go from there. So if you're excited for more Pokemon Ultra Moon like you know I am, make sure you hit the like button down below. Do subscribe if you're new because we're going to prove through this Let's Play that we do the best exploration Let's Plays of the entire YouTube. But we can go ahead and start with a quick party recap because it's this is the party recap is super quick. You can see the squad just below my face, but we have buttons our Rowlet with tackle, leafage, growl, and peck. That's it. That's the team recap. He is level 10. He is sassy nature or quirky nature. He is quirky nature. Um, but yeah, I wanted to play so much. I wanted to play so badly that. Uh, Episode 1 is actually rendering right now. Like, it's sharing out right now. So I'm really hoping that everything is all synced up. It looks like it is. If it's not, I guess we'll find out after this episode and everything will be fixed. So, if something is desynced, trust me, I know about it. It'll be fixed in the next episode. Let's go ahead and twirl around a bit. Okay, there we go. I knew we could do that. Alright, let's go ahead and talk to Lily. <sighs> oh yeah, Rock Ruff, let's go! Give it everything you got! My body is ready! Woo! Ah, there they go again. The Pokemon Research Lab has its own unique charm, as I think you might agree. I've actually been, um, imposing on the professor here for the past three months. I'm not much of an assistant, but it's the least I can do to pay him back for letting me stay. Maybe I'd be more helpful if I were a real Pokemon trainer, too. Oh, rough, rough! The professor never stops researching moves, not even inside the lab itself. Looks like we'll have to patch the roof again. I just washed his lab coat and finally got it clean, too. Now it'll be in shreds. And I'm no good at mending clothes, so he'll just have to buy another new one. We should probably go in before he does any more damage. Kukui, you crazy guy. <laughs> Knock it off. Knock it off with your snubble and your stuffle and your rock rough. Your dumb Corsola and love disc. That aquarium. That aquarium's pretty sick. Hey there, Domino. Thanks for letting... Thanks for getting him for me, Lily. Oof. Come on. Words. Of course, however I can be... Oh, whoa. Of course, however I can be a help. It's supposed to be your assistant, right? Rockoff's rooms were just so stylish, and I was making good progress in my research. Say, Domino, let me see your Pokedex for a second, yeah? What do you think of the place? Not bad, right? But that's not why I called you here, eh? Here, it finally arrived. Eh? What's wrong, Lily? Don't make me do all the talking. See, there's this Pokemon inside your Pokedex called Rotom. Really? I didn't see him. Oh, I can tell you about Rotom. It is, a it is a peculiar Pokemon with a body made up of something like electricity. It can take up residence in machines. Yeah, yeah, buddy, and to put that crazy skill of Rotom to work. Oh my gosh, I'm hiccuping everywhere. It's the, next, it's the next generation of Pokedexes, but it's the only complete once Rotom has gone into its badly special, uh, specially developed for it. A whole new way for people and Pokemon to communicate. Whoa! There's only a few of these booties out in the world so far. And now if I power up your Pokedex with the parts that I just got in... Take flight, my guy. Hey now, sorry about that, Rotom. Guess I surprised you. Rotom, here boy, I powered up your favorite decks. Give Domino here a helping hand, yeah? There we go. Now, is this guy as annoying as the first guy was? Actually, I love Rotom decks. 
Um, hey there. Pleasure to meet you. I'm not n n n nervous or anything, okay? Check it out, Domino. Now Rotom can talk right to you. It may take a little while to get used to his new job, but I'd say Rotom has taken a liking to you. And this will... This will help how, exactly? Domino hasn't been here in a little long yet, so I decided to give him his special Rotom Dex to help him get... to help him navigate around. Thank you very much. You can see where you're headed just by looking at Rotom. If you give a little tap, you can even check out the town map. Ow. Alola. Salty Breeze sang to me and brought me here to you. Whoa! Look at all the Pokemon. Oh, Pokemon! Is that a loft? It's awesome! No, it's not. It's private. The professor has been kind enough to let me use it. If you see a person or Pokemon who needs help, you just help them. Right, Domino? How? That's why I'm letting Lily stay up there in the loft. So, Domino, I'm leaving this Rotom Dex in your hands. Rotom, you look after Domino, yeah? That's the Rotom Dex, eh? It's kind of cute! All right then, Domino. You too, Hal. Get a move on. What? Where am I going? To this trainer school. You gotta learn the basics of being a Pokemon trainer through Pokemon battling. Long road to become the Island Challenge champion, and the trainer school is the first step. What about you, Hal? I'm good. I just want to play with my Pokemon. The Island Challenge? This is how the people of Alola connect with the world around them. And then there's the way, whoa, and then there's, and then there's the way that you and Rotom both chose one another. And now with Rotom helping you out as well, even Nebby likes you. I guess there's something about you that makes Pokemon feel comfortable when they're by your side. Lily, you take care of Domino, yeah? So he gets used to Rotom helping find his way around. Whew. Man, I'm having trouble with words. Really frustrating. I'm going up to this private loft. I know you're standing here. Several of Lily's books look pretty advanced. As we've learned in recent episodes, like, Lily is a freaking. Ooh! Uh, Lily journals a bunch, as we've learned in recent episodes. I thought that Murkrow gave you something. Let's check out Stuffle. Schnabel! Schnabel, schnab! Schnabel! Akra. So am I, am I to believe that... Holly World down here training. Nothing? Wait, what are you hold what are you doing that? Ooh, let's read. We got some stuff. On the number of Pokemon moves. As of this writing, scholars in this field have identified more than 600 distinct moves that can be used by Pokemon in battle. And each Pokemon is only able to remember a maximum of four moves at a time. So on a fifth move, we must forget one of the other moves. Just it must be noted that it was there's a way to wait to wait. Okay, cool. Physical stuff. Okay, I really don't need to look. Can I sit down? I realized in watching other Sun and Moon playthroughs that I actually missed quite a lot the first time I played through it. So I'm going to be a bit more careful this time. The Pokemon Center is practically right next to your house, isn't it, Domino? What's going on? Ah! What is happening? Everything has fallen into darkness. Nebby, don't worry. It's okay. This must, be, this must be what they call a solar eclipse. It happens when the sun gets covered up. Was the solar eclipse forecast for today? Oh well, it must be some kind of good omen, yeah. An omen? You think something good will happen? Sure, a long, long time ago, Alola was cloaked in darkness, yeah. People say that's when Alola's people and Pokemon blasted all that darkness away with light. They also say that's why people started gathering Z-Crystals, and that, and that custom turned into the Island Challenge. 
Semino, now that you've got that Z power ring, I hope you'll collect tons of Z crystals. Woo! Exactly what move what a move researcher like me needs to uncover new secrets. Professor, that's not why he's supposed to be doing it. Come on, Domino, I'll show you to the Pokemon Center. I kind of want to catch some Pokemon. I probably should have thought about that before I started recording episode 3. Because there's nothing really that I want to catch. I mean, I could catch a Slowpoke, but like... How fun is catching a Slowpoke? Everybody's going to have a Slowpoke. Let's see if this will kill it. The last time, I think it didn't kill... Okay, perfect. I think I killed a level 4 last time with that, so this makes sense. Go ahead and press Y, which is our Pokeball. And I do have a code to get 200 Pokeballs. Something. Right there. I'm gonna have to get that, wait. Oh, so I can download 100 Pokeballs twice. Even if I catch this thing, I I can't see myself adding it to... Because there are so many other... I'd rather use a Lola Pokemon than Slowpoke. I don't even know why I just caught it. To be honest. Right, let's go ahead and cure off that. So, Slowpoke. Read about Slowpoke. Register. They, I, I, I have heard that they have different pictures in the decks, which is awesome. Congrats, you registered Pokemon in your Pokedex. This is a red letter day, and I'm about as red as anything. If I, I can't make Rotom decks and Ultra Recon Squad have the same thing. All, uh, all through their tails, although their tails, which fall off naturally, can be easily be found laying around, they're a precious ingredient for cooking. Wait, Slowpoke's tail randomly falls off? Um, so a girl... Slowpoke... Alright, so in the part oh yeah yeah. Do I need to use what? Do I just need to tap him awake? Do I need to use this? Good morning, Rallet. I think this is going to be the last episode that I record before I go take a bit of a nap before I wake up and start recording again. But I think episode one, because that was an hour of power, I'm pretty sure it's going to take a while. Everything went black all of a sudden. I, thought I might be out of batteries. You okay now? I'm okay, thanks. I won't short circuit that easy. Maybe a nice visit to the Pokemon Center will have us feeling better in no time. I'll flag it on the map for you, too. So I actually just responded to him. That's actually really cool. It's actually really, really cool. I'm trying to think of what all... The only thing I think I would potentially put on the team would be a Picky Peck. Do we want a two cannon on the team? Do we want a two... Or a Murkrow? Uh, I'd probably rather have Picky Peck. I go catch a Picky Peck real quick? So we have two Pokemon? Let's see if I can find a picky peck real quick. Oh, not a binary. Why is binary randomly here in the past? I'm gonna do five encounters. So that was one. I guess I'm not even gonna get through the inner school today. I'll just do three encounters. Wait, isn't Pichu, like, rare? Ten 
since I think Pichu is supposed to be rare, we go ahead and catch it. If it's a good nature, I, I guess I'll use it. But I think what I'm going to do before the next episode is I'm going to catch all of the Pokemon in this area that I can find. Uh, we'll go from there. Oh, we've caught Pichu. What's Pichu's picture look like? All right, not bad, not bad. Pichu used to be rare, at least. It's electric sax. It has electric sax ink's cheek. Her fully charged Pichu plays very electric. Uh, let's go. Let's call you. We'll call Pichu IHOP. Because Alola Pikachu, or Alola Raichu is very interesting. Alright, after this we're going to head to the trainer school. Oh, cool! There's the picky pack we were going for. <gasps> okay, that's fine, that's fine. I, I, I didn't mean to use leafage. I thought that was where my hacker was, but that should be okay. So, we will, because I want to add something to the team. Here, I'm going to have to... Oh, wait. Oh, where are my notes? Alright. Take my notes here. Added... All right, so we have Picky Peck to join the team. It may look spindly, spindly, but its neck muscles are heavy duty. It can peck at a tree 16 times per second. So it's a woodpecker. Um, let's see, a female woodpecker. Or female uh, toucan. Hold on, hold on. Just had a thought. Hold on, I just had a thought. What if I used. see anything. Man, I'm bad at this. I'm gonna call you Lauren. I'm gonna have to change some nicknames around here. Alright, let's check out our newest Pokemon that's actually on the team. So, we are... Not a great nature, admittedly. Careful nature. So up special defense, lower special attack. Alright, let's go ahead and heal, and then let's head to the trainer school. I do think that our pace will pick up quite a bit once we, like, get into the game a bit. Alright, let's go. Let's head to the trainer school. I guess I could have just headed this way because we're going to be stopping at the Pokemon Center. In Here, let me show you the Pokemon Center. Follow me. I don't need you to show me any of this stuff. I know all of it. Yep, it's the exact same. You talk to the woman at the counter, she can restore your Pokemon to perfect health. It's amazing, isn't it? I can't stand seeing Pokemon in pain. You can also deposit the Pokemon in the PC here, or take them out. At the Pokemart, you can buy all kinds of items that should help you during your trials. I'd take a look if I were you. Over there is the cafe area. I like to relax sometimes with a frosty glass of Moomoo milk. I read something in a travel guide about Alola once. 
Apparently, each Pokemon Center in Alola offers a different selection of drinks. I wonder how they pick what to serve. Cafes may also offer more than just drinks. I've heard they sell, also, spell spe also sell special treats, and that sometimes the staff have tips for trial go. We should head to the trainer school next. But have your Pokemon taken care of first if you think they need a little aid. Alright, so here's what we're going to do first. First thing we're going to do is we're going to come over to the PC. And I'm going to drop off these two. But so we just have these. Now I'm going to have to train up Pick a Peck, um, which I don't think will be too difficult. I won't train him up too far. Um, okay. Really need anything. I guess I can take some more potion. Oh, I have ten. Peace. Buy things and sell things at Pokemon and feel better with the blah 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 blah. Yeah, yeah, thank you. What's this? It's on a table. Communications to trade with the Pokemon and both be happy basically doubles your happiness. Um, I'm good for now. Might come back because if like if those are a little better than other things that we have access. To. Here we are. See, the trainer school is. It's a a, a what in the world? Boros, charge me! I dare you. Uh, looks like we won't be going that way anytime soon, Thank thanks to Tauros there. We're only planning to go as far as the trainer school anyway. We'll just leave that for someone else to deal with. Come, follow me. Alright, I think we should go ahead and wrap up the episode there. Um, again, we're not, I'm, I'm not quite moving as quick as I wanted to. Today was mostly just um, Professor, uh, uh, Professor Kukui's place. And then we caught ourselves our first Pokemon. Um, the next episode, we're going to be picking up the pace a bit. We're going to go through um, the trainer school. Again, I'm not in any rush. My goal is to do everything in the game, but I don't want to lag behind. And I kind of felt like I was lagging behind in this episode. But if you did enjoy, make sure you hit the like button down below. Do subscribe if you're new, especially if you're playing along with us. And we'll see you here in a few hours for episode number four of our Ultra Moon Expanded Let's Play. But until then, have a blessed day.